This is good stuff. I'm hot sauce chunky Tim and a Frino pepper. Today's show is going to be sauce so review for my good friend Arthur Wayne from Arthur Wayne Hot Sauce, guys. This is the Montana Campfire. Now, I'll tell you one thing, guys. Living in Wisconsin, our winters, it's damn cold outside. Sitting by a fire, I'm all about that. Here's the kicker, guys. This is not available yet, but you know what? Arthur Wayne's such a badass, he sent me a bottle of it before it's released. How cool is that, Arthur Wayne? Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All right, let's check out the label, guys. It's cool. You got the burning emblers of the, of the logs, the hot coals, all that hot stuff here. <clears throat> so you can see, guys, it says coming soon. Another cool thing about this label, guys, look how big that print is. You know, as for myself and other sauce reviewers that watch on YouTube, sometimes we have a real hard time reading the ingredients because the printing is so small. Look at that. It's nice work. All right, ingredients are first thing it says is peppers. So what it says is peppers. Then I can explain what peppers are in it. It says roasted poblano, chipotle, and the seven pot primo. Seven pot primo. That's a hot one, folks. And ingredients are white vinegar, tomatillo, avocado, coconut water. Coconut water. Hmm. Interesting. Lemon juice, salt, onion, garlic, and spices. I've tried almost every sauce from Arthur Wayne. The very first one that I had was his Limitless sauce. Um, that was actually a prototype. Um, he sent it to me before it was released. That's way back when I first started my, my channel, guys. And it was absolutely dynamite. Um, I'll tell you what, the man, I, I swear Arthur Wayne was fishing, fishing. He cast it, he hooked and reeled me in, and I've been hooked ever since. Um, awesome merchandise online, guys. This is a cool shirt or what? It just pops out at you. Love this shirt. All right, so anyway, so Arthur Wayne grew up in California. In 2009, he needed a change of pace, so he decided to move to Missoula, Montana. I probably think of, why would you move from California to Montana? Well, he wanted to change the pace. Um, he went from the heat, temperature-wise heat, of California to the cold in Montana. It took him a while to acclimate to the cold, but now he uh, doesn't bother him anymore. Um, it says a line here, I go out to the barbecue with my flip-flops. It's pretty damn funny. You know, I used to enjoy the cold going outside. I used to wear shorts all year round. My wife kept yelling at me to put some pants on because I'm going to catch a cold. Living in Wisconsin, like Arthur Wayne says, he kind of acclimates to the, the cold and he used to it. So, all right. Anyway, so we will uh, check this out. Guys, look at the look at the color of the sauce. Look at all the speckles. This thing is full of speckles. There's all kinds of, there's all kinds of speckles going on there, guys. You got white speckles. You got black speckles. You got some black chunkage going on in there. Oh man, this thing's got everything in it. Let's check out the aroma. Okay, I'm kind of getting like a smoky, fruity aroma. So I'm thinking that's probably the lemon juice overpowering everything. Maybe the coconut water. But I'm not smelling much for the pepper, so that's just the aroma. All right, let's check out the pour. Now, again, guys, this sauce is not available yet. It says coming soon in 2022. So keep your eyes open on the website. I'll drop the link down below. Did you guys see that pour? That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. I don't like thin sauces. I like thicker sauces. But I want a sauce that's so thick that I'm ramming the, the neck of the bottle on the spoon. So one of these times, I'm afraid I'm going to crack the bottle. All right, Roma. A little, little strong inside the bottle. Okie dokie. I'm out sauce, Chunky Tim. Arthur Wayne, Montana Campfire. 
Let's do this. Oh, we're taking another spoonful, guys. All right, now the heat's not bad at all. Guys, this would be superb on wings. <clears throat> now I'll weigh on the heat scale for a moment. Just see what things change. But again, it's not brutally hot, guys. It's got a real good tartness to it with that lemon juice. A little bit of burn on the on the lip. But man, that is some good stuff. All right, so like I said, guys, I'm hopping online here. Uh, all it says is coming soon. Now, Arthur's got this listed at a, as an 8 out of a 10. Um, for me, I'm saying just for me. I'm not the average dude. Um, I'm nowhere near an 8 out of a 10 for it. For me, I'm probably going to give this a probably maybe a 2. <clears throat> That's good stuff. He's suggesting put this on beef stew and salmon. I can see putting it on salmon for sure. So, again, guys, I'm not quite sure when this will be available. Um, please check out the website. Keep your eyes open for it. Um, not only does he sell T-shirts, he's got hot sauce holsters. He's got, like, this coolest-looking hot sauce shelf. Here, check it out. What a perfect way to store your hot sauces, eh? That's awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> he's got t-shirts he's got hoodies tank tops mugs bags phone cases face masks and much more so guys check out arthur wayne um when this comes available guys i seriously seriously hope you take my advice and get yourself a bottle of this it is freaking awesome that heat and the the tartness and lemon are just it just connects perfectly. So thanks, guys, for hanging out. Till next time, hot sauce, Chucky Tim. And a funeral pepper.